Hello, I'm Crazy, and you're watching Power Toys. Today we're taking a look at Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Wheeljack and his repaint, Dead End. <laughs> Wheeljack first appeared in the Transformers Prime series in the Season 1 episode, Con Job, where he was kidnapped by the Decepticons and replaced by a shapeshifter named Makeshift. The Transformers Prime Wheeljack looks very similar to his namesake. However, he's portrayed very differently than his G1 counterpart. Gone are the days where he's a mad scientist creating goofy gadgets and MacGuffins, replaced now by a hard-nosed, Black Ops operative, working for the Wreckers, a team of Autobots that will take on jobs that no other Autobots are willing to take. Even his weaponry is different. Gone is the shoulder-mounted rocket launcher, replaced by two battle swords, which do come with the figure. He can hold them in his hands, he can mount them on his shoulders, you can also mount them on the underside of his car form for storage. And he can mount them on the front of the car for some fun driving lessons with Miko. As is the case more and more these days, Wheeljack has a lot of articulation. To give you an idea, he has a ball joint uh, at the head. It's actually in the base of the neck. The ball joint isn't on the head itself, but it still allows him a, a great deal of motion. Um, in the head. His shoulder is a ball joint. Just below it is a swivel joint to separate the shoulder from the arm. Another swivel at the elbow. And a combination swivel and ball joint on the hand. The other arm has all the same articulation. He has a ball joint at the hip, a swivel joint just below the hip, a hinged knee, and a great ball joint right on the ankle, which allows for a great deal of movement. And again, the other leg has all the same articulation. Here is Wheeljack in his alternate mode, which is a sports car. It's based loosely on the 2011 Lancia New Stratus concept. It's a pretty rad looking car, if I do say so myself. And the paint job they gave it and some of the details make it look very similar to, again, Wheeljack's G1 counterpart. Even with the detailing on the back here, with the kind of vented back windshield, just like the original. As far as the first wave of Transformers Prime, Robots in Disguise goes, Wheeljack is a standout. Dead End, his repaint, is no exception. Not only does he feature the same great mold and sculpt as Wheeljack, but he also has a retooled head and a distinctive color scheme to set it apart from the rest. The bright colors on Dead End are explained by a prolonged exposure to dark energon radiation, which has caused him to become almost vampiric. Here's a nice close-up of Dead End's head. Now, I'm actually gonna shine a, a flashlight behind him because Dead End has some of the most uh, effective light piping I've ever seen on a figure, and it, it's just really great. Um, yeah, it really adds to that kind of vampiric vibe that the uh, Dark Energon gave this this character. Um, great job by the designers. This is such an awesome head. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of Wheeljack's head and Dead End's head. To me, the color scheme on Dead End evokes a heavy influence from Generation 2, which is known for its outlandish and fluorescent color schemes. 
The back of his packaging even refers to his swords as double laser swords. Laser swords were part of the gimmick for a Generation 2 subgroup called the Laser Rods, whose main gimmick were um, basically light up swords that lit up via an LED in the fist of the figure. Overall, I have to say that of the first wave of Transformers Prime robots in disguise, Wheeljack was definitely my favorite. And Dead End, being his repaint, was a great follow-up. And I absolutely love the, the figure and the changes they made to it because they made him really stand out as compared to Wheeljack and really feel like a completely different figure. But that's about all the time I have for today, so thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Remember to tune in to Powit.tv for all of your news on gaming, comics, TV, movies, toys, and more. And as always, remember kids, open your toys, even if it's just a repaint. They bring something to the table too.